Okay, looks like we'll uh, we'll get started here. Uh, good morning. Welcome to day two of the Risk Five Summit. Uh, my name is Dan Gross, and uh, I'm a senior developer advocate uh, at AWS, and uh, I work in the IoT ecosystem services team. And, uh, and AWS is a member of the uh, Open Hardware Group, and so. I'll be talking a little bit about uh, some of the collaboration that we've done with the Open Hardware Group um, at AWS. Uh, specifically, I'll be talking about the Core 5 uh, MCU, uh, which was uh, developed by the Open Hardware Group, and, uh, and uh, the demo that we've put together that uh, demonstrates the Core 5 capability. So this is short, um, short presentations, just 10 minutes, so I just have a few slides. So the, the goal of this uh, demo was to create a uh, weather station fleet. And so uh, what we have is a number of Core 5 uh, kits that have a temperature sensor. And, uh, and they'll connect to the AWS cloud uh, in order to um, visualize the, the data in a dashboard. And so I'll show that uh, dashboard um, live in a moment. Um, these are all the contributors to the Core 5 uh, MCU. Uh, you can see a number of um, um, logos here that uh, are, are part of this. The, uh, the Open Hardware Group uh, booth is, is just behind the, uh, the Codacid booth there in the back. Uh, so go, go check out the Open Hardware Group booth there. So what is the Core 5 uh, MCU? This is, the, this is the SOC, which includes the, the Core 5. And um, it's, it's free RTOS based, and um, it has uh, a number of capabilities, including uh, low power peripheral interfaces. And, um, and the important thing is that the, uh, the tape out is, um, is coming shortly and uh, should, be, should be available with Real Silicon uh, in 2023 by Global Foundries. Um, so this is the uh, this is the demo board that we have running in the booth, and uh, it's it's an FPGA that uh, has an emulation of the um, Core 5 MCU, and uh, you can see here that there's a, there's a there's a bridge board on top that uh, um, basically gives you the interface to the um, to the network uh, chip that's that's there. And that, that particular network chip is known as a AWS IoT Express Link. And uh, this particular chip is Wi-Fi and provides uh, the capability to connect to the AWS cloud uh, from, the, from the Core 5 software. Now, the Core 5 um, software that's running on this particular demo is uh, built using free RTOS. And, um, and AWS is, a, is the primary steward of FreeRTOS. Uh, and so uh, there is a number of libraries that make that uh, easy, easy to uh, connect to AWS Cloud. So um, here's, our, uh, here's our demo. It's basically a, uh, a weather station demo. And so it, it utilizes the Core 5 on the, on the FPGA, as I mentioned. And uh, there's a temperature sensor on board. And so the FreeRTOS uh, application gathers the temperature sensor data and uh, sends that through the AWS IoT ExpressLink uh, module, as I mentioned. And that particular module is developed by Espressive, one of, uh, one of our partners um, that uses uh, FreeRTOS um, uh, quite heavily in their SDK. And, um, and this uh, particular module uh, is uh, developed by Espressive and also happens to be a RISC-V uh, module also. It's based on the ESP32 uh, C3 module. And so um, you, can, you can buy this as an ExpressLink uh, module, but it's based on their ESP32 C3. Okay, so what does this uh, weather station fleet uh, look like? So we can have multiple weather stations, and, uh, and we have several of these boards distributed uh, around the world, and so I'll show you that on the dashboard in a moment. Um, but behind the scenes, once you connect uh, to AWS Cloud, it goes through a number of steps. Uh, so first is the AWS IoT Core, which is an MQTT broker, and so all the data is sent over MQTT. 
Um, and then there's a, there's a topic that um, is being used. And with ExpressLink, uh, it's very easy to send data just by uh, saying AT plus send and then the data. And that can be uh, associated with a particular topic. Um, then there's a rule that um, is configured in the cloud to, uh, to, to take that data and store it in TimeStream, uh, which is a time series database that, uh, that um, you can use in AWS. And then, uh, and then finally, we have a Grafana dashboard that takes that data from the TimeStream database and uh, visualizes it, and, uh, and then we can see the, that dashboard. Um, so this is, uh, this is what it looks like, and I'll show you the live version in a moment. Um, and so we have our architecture diagram on the, on the left and then the dashboard on the right. Um, and then this uh, essentially is, is the demo. So I can switch over to the, to the live dashboard. Uh, let me see if there's any other slides I need to cover here. Oh, I'll cover that in one second. <clears throat> So here we are. So this is uh, the live dashboard. And you can see it updates um, uh, every five seconds here. And so we have uh, a board that is, represents our weather station uh, in a number of locations, Minnesota, Germany, uh, also in Canada. And then the other board is, uh, as I mentioned, right back there in the booth. And so we can, uh, we can capture all this data. We can see the, uh, the changes over time and, and graph it in our, in our dashboard here. So that's our, that's our demo. If I go back to the slides. So the exciting thing is uh, the upcoming uh, Core 5 MCU dev kit, which is uh, due to arrive in 2023. And uh, this features the uh, Core 5 MCU SOC in real silicon. And, um, and also has the ExpressLink module built onto it. And so uh, you'd be able to uh, build similar types of uh, applications uh, connecting to the cloud very easily with this dev kit. Um, if you'd like to learn more about the Core 5 uh, MCU, uh, definitely head back to the uh, Open Hardware Group booth. And um, if you have any questions for me about AWS or free RTOS or IoT or any of this stuff, uh, let me know, and uh, I'll be around. So uh, as far as the Open Hardware Group uh, information, you can visit, visit the, the site at openhardwaregroup.org, and, uh, and definitely follow the, the group on, on Twitter and LinkedIn. Thanks a lot. That's it for me.